Hey, what's up, everyone? <clears throat> All right, a few guys, or ladies maybe, I don't know, a few people, uh, have been asking me about um, down on the Grand Central Station, 42nd Street, you know, how I got those, uh, what, um, Metro North. Those are the Metro North, the Greenhaven line, Westchester, stuff like that. All right. <clears throat> How I got my graffiti down under there. I don't even think that shit's still there, man. I, I've been jumping around in that place, Grand Central Station. My, wow. Right, since I was 13, 14 years old, I've uh, kind of made it my business to just like know every milk and cranny of that place. It was an interesting thing. I only recently found out. It was like there's this old train, I believe. All right, when you go through the door on Lexington Avenue and like 44th, the entrance into Grand Central Station, the first couple of tracks there, I think it's uh, late 50, like 59, track 59, track 60, 61, something like that. Anyway, you, you go down the platform. <clears throat> And you run in, and they actually got an old train laying there. I found out just recently that, well, not just recently, maybe 10 years ago, I found out, maybe even longer than that, yeah, probably around 1999 or something like that, actually. Yeah, I found out that that train was actually uh, Roosevelt, you know, the uh, president, right? Or was it Isaac? Some one of these fucking presidents or something. Yeah, polio or some shit. I forget which one it is. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. And look it up. <clears throat> and he used to stay in a Waldorf Astoria, and he would come down in case it's a problem. They'd get him in that train and shoot him out. And, uh, he was a president a long, long time ago, in the 50s or the 40s or some shit. Uh, I think it's the Roosevelt with Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah, he had something wrong with him, right? Wasn't he walking all fucked up and shit? <clears throat> Probably that guy. But anyway, yeah, they used to have an old train down there. I went through every little milk and nook and cranny of the whole building itself, Grand Central Station, and all the tracks. I didn't even knew, like, the real fucking mall people. I remember this girl, uh, April. Yeah, April. Uh, she was a homeless girl. I forget. The, yeah, she said, I mean, I was a... Uh, I used to see her there. She used to hang out. A tough chick, man. She, yeah, she would roll people, you know, <clears throat> catch people out there. Almost like um, she would uh, sexually manipulate them into like a dark area and shit. She would pull out a fucking knife out of it and take all that shit. Yeah, actually, I, there was, I don't know, she died or some shit like that. I remember reading about it in the newspaper. She, I think she either died from AIDS or someone murdered her or something. But, yeah, she was a cool chick. She was like a, about my age. Back then, we used to hang out and shit. Not like a boyfriend or girlfriend. I was never sexually involved with the woman. And I smoked a lot of weed with her and shit like that. But, <clears throat> yeah, she was always hopping around down there. And I had a bunch of people that were just like chilling down there, like living in those tracks. And um, especially that one where that old train was. Because they really didn't pull a lot of activity. Now, the other ones, those were actually fucking busy tracks. You know, you had trains shooting up to Metro North, uh, up to Valhalla, uh, Connecticut, Stanford, or some shit, Greenhaven, all types of crazy places. And even some of them would branch out towards, like, Boston and shit. <clears throat> so probably the tags that you're talking about, I know at 59th Street and Park Avenue, there's actually a train station down there. They painted it all white now, but I used to have a huge blockbuster down there. I did that shit in like a big RD, silver and black. <clears throat> I did that in like 1984, 1985. And then on 86th Street and Park Avenue, you had another one, but that wasn't really like a whole station. It was like a half a station, like a subway station. What I mean by a station, but the trains never stopped there. It's like a workstation thing. So I used to have a huge blockbuster down there. And I had all the train tracks. You know, I'd run around there with silver and shit. Like, um, well, anyway, let me finish up. 86th Street and Park Avenue, there was another one that goes down. <clears throat> There's a hatch right there, right on the middle of the island. When you're waiting, you got the downtown Park Avenue traffic going this way. And on the east side of it, you got the Park Avenue traffic going uptown. 
right on the middle, you got a bunch of little plants and flowers growing there. You'll see there's actually, a, I don't know, I haven't been there in a while, but there's actually a little railing there. And it's like a hatch. Well, that hatch goes down to this thing. It's like a subway station. Now, back in the days, it wasn't so it was the top uh, priority or something like that. Well, 9-11 kind of fucked everything up. But even before 9-11, that shit wasn't so easy to get down there. And um, back in the days, you literally would just lift it. It would have like a little hook on it. You'd pull it right up and go right down. So all the older cats, the graffiti writers that were writing graffiti before me, like ESP crew, Eastside Party, Extra Sick Partners, uh, Eastside Playboy, whatever the fuck. You know, they would use all the cats. They were really putting in work. You had Nada, you had Hoy, uh, which his name was Huntsy, um, Fate, Fatal Frank was one of them, Radar with Frank Maller, Sadist, which was uh, Chris Bazzani, he was also TSS, uh, who else did you have, uh, Felony, which was Frank Dewey, I believe his name was, yeah, I don't know, any old cats on there, if you're still alive, correct me in the comments, I, it's going back, you know, but uh, yeah, they used to hang out down there, and I used to go down there and look at all the wild pieces they do, you know, and I'd say, wow, look, that's a pretty graffiti, you know, they used to have a wild ship down there. But yeah, I pretty much lived down there from like fucking 13 to like 21 years old, man. I was, not that I lived down there, I lived down there, I've always had a place to live, but I used to love to, like, I was like an urban explorer. Actually, everyone we used to chill with, D3, my friend Sammy I've had on here, we would go crawling around in some of the craziest fucking train tunnels, just for the hell of it, like, couple of cans of spray paint and some marijuana and we were fucking good yeah you know, we used to that's like it was a thing I, you know what actually in style was is the whiz kind of it, he breaks on that like i've been in areas where i found old maps and shit you remember that part of style was well it's true it's like it's kind of fun to like to go screwing around in places like that when you're a teenager you know but yeah, I've been all up and down through there i've been all under the un building too i've actually found the fucking layup they used to park seven trains in, in the winter, down under the UN building there. Um, yeah, I just, I, there's a couple of places in New York City that I was just fascinated by as a child and as a teenager, and I really, like, climbed around in them a lot. Grand Central Station was one of them. I could, I'd, I'd been all through some work rooms and fucking lockers and all types of fucking areas, all through Grand Central Station. Even if you look up in Grand Central Station, you'll see glass windows that look straight through. It's not just straight through. There's actually a fucking, like, a fire escape that goes across to each one. I've actually sat on those fire escapes above the fucking clock and smoked weed and looked down at everyone. Fucking rush hour when I was cutting school and shit like that. Yeah, I used to do all types of crazy... It was like bug, there was like little ants and shit. I'd climb up. It was like a little spiral staircase at the end. I, there's actually one area. I don't even think that big clock. Yeah, it was like these fire escapes, like metal grates, almost like catwalks, but in between two thick glass things. We'd just sit on the floor and I'd smoke weed and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, when we're supposed to be at school. This is going back to, wow, my junior high school days. Wagner PS-167. I've mentioned that before. That was my junior high school. A lot of graffiti writers went there. Sharp went there when I was there. Delta was there when I was there. The Sash I know, Sash 357, and passed away. Gary Pinedo, he went there. Dark Star was there. Um, Roz, Cool Cat Roz, White Boy Rob, they used to call him. He used to go to school with me there. Uh, base, um, a couple of these other guys from uptown, uh, Slash, uh, Gerard Muckle, you know, he went there. A couple of TFA guys, I can't remember, but the younger TFA, uh, and uh, you know, like, yeah, I can't remember, man. So many writers went, Sadist went there, the TSS, Sadist, uh, Dave Billy was there when I was there. Yeah, a lot of fucking people went to that school, uh, came up with they either got locked up forever or they died. <laughs> Most of them aren't alive anymore. Um, anyway, yeah, I used to go climbing around all through that fucking place. 
I'd, I'd seriously, I'd climb around that shit for like 10, 12 hours sometimes, you know. And I met a lot of the homeless teenagers that were there. Like uh, the Covenant Home, uh, what was it, Father Ritter. The Covenant Home, that's where all the runaways would go. It was like a, a teenage shelter for boys and girls back then. I don't know how it was. Well, Father Ritter, he got, they locked his ass up, I think. I remember reading it, he died. Uh, yeah, he was like the priest there, and he was like molesting little boys and shit like that. Fucking pedophile. Yeah. It's like a cliche, right? A priest, but I don't know, teach their own and their crazy shit, man. But, you know, to take the the oath of God and all that shit, you know, and be a priest and uh, people go to you for guidance and shit. That's some wild shit. But, um, yeah, I remember that a lot of those guys from the Covenant home used to live in them fucking tunnels and shit like that. And a lot of people, a lot of activity, but... Like a, a lot of drug addicts, a lot of violent people who climb around right around there. Only there but Grand Central Station. You could go jump around in any train tunnels anywhere else, and it was all good, man. It's just right there because it's a big hub. But you had trains coming down from upstate, downstate, all over the fucking place, landing there. And, you know, it was warm. 24-7 the place was open. Had these long wooden chairs, uh, like bleachers almost like pews in a fucking church you know like long, like a waiting station it's a train station people wait it's huge the ceiling was all nice and pretty with all these lights with the whole like astrology of uh, the um, stars in the sky and shit like that what they represent and shit it's all blue with little lights that blink and yeah I used to love that fucking place I but just the marvel man I used to trip out on LSD and shit I sit there, I go like this to the fucking marble. <laughs> For real, I remember doing that shit. And that was, that was like when Bart Simpson, the Simpsons came out. I remember it was a Bart Simpson stamps, the LSD stamps. I got, I took like three or four of them shit. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, the marble was so fucking smooth, man. That was some crazy shit. I jumped all through the tunnels up there, they call them the Freedom Tunnels, that guy Freedom, uh, used to use them like it's some kind of art gallery, been all through there, but there's not much, it's just up and down, you know, you could crawl up a couple of places, but that was bullshit, uh, Canal Street, all through there, pretty interesting, got a lot of graffiti down there, Canal of Spring on the 6th, Delancey Street was pretty fucking cool, yeah, hey, hey, we would just like go hop in tunnels and go crawl around and shit, fucking see what's going on in the world, you know? Um, it gets pretty interesting too in the Central Park, it's pretty wild. Um, a lot of different little caverns and shit like that. Also on the N and the R from 49th Street going towards Queens, there's a bunch of little extra layers of shit down there too. But yeah, I, I could do a whole episode on that shit alone one day. But, uh, yeah, pretty much Grand Central Station, uh, you guys are talking about me having tags and down in the tunnels when you're on the train going home or whatever the fuck you're going, you see it through the tunnels. Yeah, that's just me fucking around as a young teenager. I'm surprised that shit's even there. Please, let me know when's the last time you've seen it there. I used to take those trains uh, down when I was up in these group homes. There's one particular one. You know, a DFY facility, when you get in trouble in the city, they lock your ass up for a little while. You know, just like they would an adult. Uh, <clears throat> and I'd take that train down. My mom sometimes would come up and see me and shit like that. So, um, a couple of those actual tracks I concentrated more on, because I knew a lot of people were up in these uh, GFY facilities. Uh, DFY stands for Division for Youth. Uh, like a juvenile center, a lockup. You go to Spofford first and then they shoot you off to wherever the fuck they find fit for you, you know, depending on the crime and shit. <clears throat> but um, I was kind of in that whole life. And so I knew people would see my shit when they're going up to these places or they're coming home or their mom or their dad or their brothers. So I kind of did definitely make it my point to have a lot of tags that are visual from those trains, yes. Um, when I did it, I don't know, it has to be, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, definitely statute of limitations run out. I personally have not been down in that place since I was probably about 20-something years old, and now I'm in my 50s, so. I'd probably say that shit could have been anywhere from 82 to maybe 91 or something, 92 or something like that, 93 or something, yeah, something like that. All right, people, um. 
Take care. Yeah, subscribe, man. Give me some followers out there, man. Stop fucking around. Tell your friends, man. Peace. Hello, everyone. Real quick, I'm back on. I did a little fact check, and yes, that train belonged to Franklin D. Roosevelt. It was parked under the Grand Central Station. That's who it belonged to, Franklin D. Roosevelt. And April, yeah, she died. I still didn't figure out when. But I remember she had a lesbian lover named Tina, a Gina, something like that. I was just looking at I think she wrote a book about living there, and it became a documentary or something. You could probably look into that, too. I'll look a little more, and I'll see if I can come up with it. But, yeah, these teenagers, they were no joke. <laughs> they didn't fuck around. Man. <clears throat> I tell you, it's a few times. I, there's actually, like, a brass golden door on almost 50th Street. I'd leave that. I'd come up from the street, from the tunnel where the train tracks are. Take this long staircase, come on. I leave that door open. I put a little piece of cardboard in it, right? And right down the block, you would have like this Irish steak or um, the Blarney Stone. It would have these big briskets and shit, you know? And I'd catch these fucking yuppies out there. <clears throat> I used to be young in the snow. Just fuck, come up, boom, boom. Take all that shit when you knock them out. And I just run right down that fucking door, right back down into the tunnel. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I used to do that. <laughs> Remember once the fucking guy was a cop. <laughs> he was like, yo, he wasn't having it, yo. It was like a brawl. I couldn't even get to the fucking door. I had to keep heading down to the streets. He was an off duty cop, like the 17th Precinct right there, too, or like 51st in Lexington. Fucking off duty cop and shit. I was like, yo. But I mean, I wouldn't do it with a weapon or not. I would just be like, straight out. I just beat them till they get tired, yo. And they're like, oh, if not, they're like, yo, chill, give me your shit, you know? I just, you know, yeah, I, I, that's when I was young, but I was, uh, that's when I really didn't give a fuck. That's when I was, you know, uh, out there hard body, yeah. Definitely before 20, 21, I'm talking like 18, 19 years old. <laughs> that's it, Franklin D. Roosevelt, people, that's the name of the guy. Yeah, sorry I forgot that. Yeah, I used to write on that train. I've had tags inside it and outside it. Um... Anyway, yeah, after 86th Street, the train, the um, tunnel, like I was saying, where ESP used to hang out, and it shoots straight uptown, straight through Harlem. By about 96th, 97th Street, it comes out doors, and it goes uh, straight uptown, uh, to Westchester, all the way up, peace.